I can clearly see from up here the shallow water, the coral reef below me, and this is KK's claim to fame. Yeah, beautiful. Come on, boy, come and get it. Don't believe I'm talking to a fish. There, there, there. Look. There you go. Mm. Mm -hmm. He's looking at CC, the little female. I've lost the view room. You've lost it. <laughs> <laughs> when I arrived here on the Springwatch set a few days ago, I learnt of some footprints of otters seen down towards the estuary, just a couple of miles away from where we are now. So I set out with our wildlife camera assistant, Josh, to see if I could find them. If you're lacking a breeze, oh, Peruvian rainforest is fairly likely. Well, your best kite is made out of a big carpenter bee. These guys are all over the place, so they've just tethered it with a piece of wool around its leg, <laughs> and you've got hours of, uh, of animal cruelty. Oh, I've got one, I've got one, I've got one. <laughs> but up here is a sprite site. Now, one say it smells of jasmine, others say it smells of summer meadows. To me, it just smells slightly fishy but not unpleasant. But the reality is these things are totally harmless. We just kind of bigged up their bad legendary status. So let you a little jump there, Mark. I can't believe I'm holding possibly the rarest animal on earth. Now that was pretty good, but we could do better. You see, if you saw yesterday's show, you know I'm rather fond of these things, trail cameras. There's its profile and it comes back, it gets better, and then it sticks its bum on the log, it does a little wiggle and deposits the sprites we were talking about in the film. We identified that site and we got the result. Namibia has some of the oldest, hottest and driest landscapes on Earth. And not surprisingly, many of the animals and plants that live here have come up with some rather neat ways of dealing with these extreme conditions. Looking for an axolotl in effectively what amounts to an open sewer in someone's back garden. You wouldn't go looking for a giant panda in a Beijing car park, would you? Now, the reason this is the best place to be is because the water visibility here is second to none. It is crystal clear. It's also home to a rather healthy population of that large and notorious shark, the Great White. And that is what we are here to film all week. Now, in order to bring you the action as it unfolds, we have got this boat rigged to the gunnels with cameras and camera equipment. Now, let me just talk you through the underwater side of things. That is just one awesome fish. That was, without any doubt, no shadow of a doubt, not a question in it. That was a black rhino. <laughs> I couldn't have been any closer unless I was sitting on its horn. <laughs> I want to dance, but I'm in a thorn tree. But you get the idea. Big ears, small fox, top dog. It's not dead, it's just full up. You got it? You got one? How you start? How you start? Is it in there? Nice that. Yes! <laughs> we have an axolotl. Wow. Oh, this is fantastic. This is everything I expected. I have just met the original woodland imp. It may look like an imp, but you can see it's a highly effective predator. Oh, yes. You love filming me when it's all going wrong, don't you? <laughs> oh. 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 Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> what? Was it...? Oh, no, it's not. Have I sexed it wrong? Is this... Is this a male? <laughs> oh! I've been informed that there's uh, the brown boobies nest here, which is always nice. I like, like seeing brown boobies. And, um, and also... <laughs> did I just say that? I did, didn't I? <laughs> Swing it. Yeah, and then again. <laughs> Settled. Ow! 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 Ah! Oh, stop it! Ow! Who is it? You're gonna like this. 